the classical mathematical puzzle known as the three utilities problem. The three cottages problem or sometimes water, gas and electricity can be stated as follows. Suppose there are three cottages on a plane and each needs to be connected to the gas, water, and electricity companies, without using a third dimension or sending any of the connections through another company or cottage. Is there a way to make all nine connections without any of the lines crossing each other? The problem is an abstract mathematical puzzle which imposes constraints that would not exist in a practical engineering situation. History Henry Dudney states that the problem is as old as the hills, much older than electric lighting, or even gas. A review of the problem's history is given by Coleman who states that most published references to the problem characterize it as very ancient. Solution. The problem itself, as presented at the top of this article, is strictly impossible on a flat two-dimensional plane. However, a less strict variation is possible, assuming one is allowed to pass through the cottages and or utilities. With this alteration, it is no longer impossible to connect the three cottages with the three different utilities without at least one of the connections crossing another. The problem is part of the mathematical field of topological graph theory which studies the embedding of graphs on surfaces. In more formal graph theoretic terms, the problem asks whether the complete bipartite graph K3 3 is planar. This graph is often referred to as the utility graph in reference to the problem. It has also been called the Thomson graph. The graph is equivalent to the circulant graph CI6. Kazimierz Kuratowski proved in 1930 that K3 is non-planar, and thus that the problem has no solution. Kuhlman, however, states that, interestingly enough, Kuratowski did not publish a detailed proof that K3 is non-planar. One proof of the impossibility of finding a planar embedding of K3 uses a case analysis involving the Jordan curve theorem, in which one examines different possibilities for the locations of the vertices with respect to the four cycles of the graph and shows that they are all inconsistent with a planar planar embedding. Alternatively, it is possible to show that any bridgeless bipartite planar graph with V vertices and E edges has E2 V minus 4 by combining the Euler formula V E plus F equals 2 with the observation that the number of faces is at most half the number of edges. In the utility graph E equals 9 and 2 V minus 4 equals 8, violating this inequality, so the utility graph cannot be planar. Two important characterizations of planar graphs. Kuratovsky's theorem that the planar graphs are exactly the graphs that contain neither K3 3 nor the complete graph K5 as a subdivision, and Wagner's theorem that the planar graphs are exactly the graphs that contain neither K3 3 nor K5 as a minor, encompass this result. Generalizations K3 3 is toroidal, which means it can be embedded on a torus. In terms of the three cottage problem this means the problem can be solved by punching two holes through the plane and connecting them with a tube. This changes the topological properties of the surface and using the tube we can connect the three cottages without crossing lines. A surface a genus 1 is equivalent to a torus. Palturan's brick factory problem asks more generally for a formula for the minimum number of crossings in a drawing of the complete bipartite graph car B in terms of the numbers of vertices R and B on the two sides of the bipartition. The utility graph K3, the third of may be drawn with only one crossing, but not with zero crossings, so its crossing number is 1. A toroidal embedding of K3, the third of may be obtained by replacing the crossing by a tube, as described above, in which the two holes where the tube connects to the plane are placed along one of the crossing edges on either side of the crossing. Other graph theoretic properties the utility graph K3 3 is, like all other complete bipartite graphs, a well-covered graph, meaning that every maximal independent set has the same size. 
In this graph the only two maximal independent sets are the two sides of the bipartition, and obviously they are equal. K3 3 is one of only seven three regular three connected well-covered graphs. It is also a Lehman graph meaning that it forms a minimally rigid system when it is embedded in the plane. It is the smallest example of a non-planar Lehman graph as the other minimal non-planar graph K5 is not minimally rigid.